Robert in Bullhead City, Arizona. Hey, Robert, what's up? Hey, how are you doing today? Good. What's on your mind? Well, um, we are talking about uh, TPP, and my interest is why did President Obama spend so much time in Arab countries, more than any president in history? And now he's looking at Israel as basically a nation that does not give people a fair chance. But the thing is... Well, hang on just a second here. First of all, how many Jewish states are there in the world? Excuse me? How many Muslim states are there in the world, officially Muslim states? Do you know? Oh, no, sir. Is it more than one? Oh, yeah. Okay. How many Jewish states are there in the world? One. Okay, great. President Obama has repeatedly said that he is a supporter of Israel, that we are strong advocates of Israel. He disagrees with Netanyahu on a couple of things. Uh, Number one, Netanyahu really wants to have a war with Iran. President Obama doesn't. And number two, Netanyahu is opposed to a two-state solution. He said if he was elected prime minister, he would it would not happen on his watch. And President Obama is an advocate of a two-state solution. That is not dissing Israel. That's that is disagreeing about politics with with Netanyahu. And I disagree with with Netanyahu on that. And a lot of Americans do. And a lot of American Jews do. I'm not Jewish, but you know a lot do. Um, number one. Number two, he visited a number of Arab states. Because there's incredible turmoil in these Arab states. The, you know, the Arab Spring is happening. He went to Israel. Uh, he went to uh, Egypt. I don't know. What, else, what other country did he go to besides Egypt? Robert? He, he, oh, he, he went to, uh, I believe it was eight different countries. We, uh, what, what countries are they? I, you know, I remember when he went to Egypt. I, you know, maybe he visited Qatar or something like that. We've got the, you know, our largest uh, was military the, base in the region there. He went to Saudi there. Arabia. He went to Saudi Arabia. He went to... Uh, uh, Syria, actually, believe it or not, and uh, there was a few other countries. Yeah. My point. Being well, it's that this is a this is a very important part. You know, my question is, why didn't he go to the West Bank? Right? Why didn't he go to Gaza? Excuse me. Why didn't he go to Gaza? You know, it, it, I, I would. I, you know, I think. Hear if, me if out he, on this if, one, please. Okay. This is my point. Arabs, Palestinians our Arabs do not belong in Israel. It's that plain and simple. They don't have the right to be there. Because forget, because the United Nations Arab decided that in 1948. Let's not forget Arafat, the PLO, the Hamas, all that they've done. Israel is supposed to be a sovereign nation. Now, why is so, so why are they running a prison state in, in Gaza? Yeah, why? Well, that, that's a question that, you know, I, I think a lot of people are asking. You know, why, why is Israel essentially an apartheid state right now, um, you know, with, with relative to Gaza and the West Bank? And, 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 and you know, and why are they supporting there, that? Sir. All right, let's put it this way. Why don't we have China have part of our country and Russia another part of our country and then we all you know no, no. if you if you want to make that farming. analogy robert it, it should the question should be the native americans were here first and then we took the right. country from them should we give it back right. to them uh absolutely not and why should okay so and and and, and and you know and then the jews came in the, and after after you know after 1948 um, and actually, there were, you know, there were always Jews in that part of the world. This is, this is an area that has historically been both Palestinian and Jewish. And that's what makes this so, so mixed up. I mean, they're both Semitic people. And, and it's, you know, it's, it, this is a real yeah. challenge. I'm a supporter of Israel, well, and I'm a supporter of a Palestinian state. You can be both. I'm, I'm not against the Arabs. Don't get me wrong here. No. <laughs> Come on, Robert. It's, it, that, it, this sounds like, you know, some, one of my best friends is black kind of thing. Oh, well, you know, that's all good. You know, we could say that, but truly I'm not, uh, if you knew me personally. My point being is that the Arabs have pushed Israel all the way to the Mediterranean Sea throughout history. Now, that cannot be disagreed. 
the and uh, the history of that region is insanely complex, and you can't reduce it to a single sentence like that, Robert. You just can't. I'm sorry.